Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Uh, today we are going to do a, a troubleshooting of a uh, of Dodges between 1994 and 2001 uh, Dodge Ram, Dakota, Durango, um, the Magnum series. Um, if you guys get a no spark issue uh, with uh, with with these vehicles. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys what what are the most obvious things uh, that that's that could cause these issues. All right. Um, normally, when you get a crank no start, um, a lot of times you're gonna know uh, because there's a OBD2 slot. For most of these vehicles particularly after 98 <clears throat> and you guys could probably figure out what that what the specific issue is with the code that the OBD2 generates however if you guys get into these situations where you guys want to do a DI, D, uh, <clears throat> DIY yourself as to what the issue is I'm gonna give you guys, tell you guys what the most common issues of a crank no start with uh, these vehicles are. Um, one of them is uh, is uh, coils. All right, you guys wanna uh, make sure that the coils are good. Obviously, these are older cars. You might wanna change the coils. You wanna make sure that the that the sockets, the wires that plug into the sockets the, where the coils are, you want to make sure that they are tight. All right. Sometimes they come loose, so you want to make sure that they're tight, sitting flush inside the sockets. All right. So that's that's the one thing, and this is like the most common things. These are like the most common things that I'm uh, telling you about. All right. Uh, second thing. Secondly, you're gonna want to check your uh, crank position sensor if your coils are good and your um, and and the sockets are tight and you're not generating any kind of codes as far as misfires concerns. Um, uh, normally, with the, the coils, you're gonna get um, a misfire issue. And uh, if you guys, if you have an OBD2 reader, you could it'll tell you which cylinder is misfiring. However, if you're in a situation where uh, where you guys have uh, a 96 or 97 or 98 and earlier, obviously they uh, have OBD1 uh, slots. A lot of people don't have the OBD1 tools to figure out what the issue is. But just getting back on track here. Uh, you guys want to check if those if the spark plug and the coils are good and the socket, the uh, the plugs are good. Uh, you guys want to check out the the crankshaft sensor. All right, now crankshaft position sensor is hard to get to in uh, some of these vehicles. They're sometimes a lot of times they're depending on which vehicle you have they're. Uh, close to the uh, the other side of the engine which is facing the uh, the firewall not not an impossible task not not I wouldn't say it would be a difficult uh, a difficult task but it's gonna take some work for you guys to get get to there but that's the second thing that you're gonna look for in uh, a lot of these vehicles and the third thing that you guys are gonna look for is the uh, is the uh, cam, the camshaft position sensor, the ignition, ignition pickup. Um, um, also, you guys want to check the, uh, there is a plug in the um, distributor. All right, you want to take the, the distributor off, uh, unplug everything, make sure you guys have uh, either take a picture or outline which, uh, which of the coils go where and uh, make sure that 
you know, you're gonna you gotta take everything off. There's a wire that goes through the distributor uh, on a flat plate that goes bad sometimes, which, um, which on on older cars like these happens. All right, so check those three things out. I mean. Um, there could be a lot of other things that could be causing a no spark issue but uh, on these cars these are the I said common before but um, I said common before but I mean those are those are the things that commonly do uh, um, if issues arise with no spark uh, problems as far as no start issues um, those generally you guys looked at everything else and couldn't figure out what um, what would be causing these uh, this issue with the no spark. Definitely uh, check those uh, three things out just to make sure that they're not uh, causing an issue. Anyway, um, hope this has helped you guys out as far as uh, your issues are concerned. As far as uh, no spark issues, uh, definitely uh, leave a comment with your own experiences. It could. Uh, possibly help other people out please give me a thumbs up please subscribe all right guys take care